Hi everyone, it's Liv Hamlin with my woodlot and the Watershed Agricultural Council. And today I'm bringing you out into my backyard in Westchester County. And we'll be looking at some of the trees back here, specifically pines, but we actually have a pretty wide variety. We have some maples, some cypresses, we have some beech, um, and we also have some pines back here. So I'll be looking at this pine tree in front of me today. Um, and I'll be talking you through some identification tricks to be able to identify uh, the different pine species. So I'll take you over here to look at the bundles that I have taken from the tree. So when you're looking uh, at pine tree needles, you'll want to look for a bundle, which you can tell right at the base, which is connected to the tree, you'll see a cluster and they'll all be stuck together. So for this cluster, there are five needles. One, two, three, four, five. And some pine trees have two, some have three, and others have five like this one. So this, what I'm looking at, is a white pine. And the way that I remember that is a white pine is counting out the needles. There are five letters in the word white and five needles in a bundle. There are also two other types of pine that are in this area. Um, and we will discuss those as well. So those are a pitch pine and red pine. So to remember a pitch pine, which is three needles, I think of baseball. So when you pitch the ball, you get one, two, three strikes and you're out. So a pitch pine has one, two, three needles in a bunch. And a red pine actually has the shortest number of letters in its name. So it has the least amount of needles, which is two. Um, and that is the way that I remember my pine trees. And I hope that this helps you as well. Thanks for joining me today from my woodlot.